Oh, what you mad about? I know. Hey, why are you knocking <laughs> on my door like that? Yeah. Did it say pound on the door? Is that what it said? Hi, it's saying zero for the tip. Was there a cash tip? <laughs> he expects some money. He's doing your job, brother. I I I get I get that, man. You know what I mean? Like you're doing your job, and that's how it is. Sometimes you're not gonna get that. What you get that? Do you? What you think you're gonna get? Are you are you supposed to pay me? I paid you out. This is not saying anything about payment. It just says it says zero. It it says that you left nothing. Yeah. I didn't do it. Can I like food? Get out of here. No. Get out of here. She's trying to put on the ground. Right. Somebody is dead. Straight garbage. And that's a kid we're talking to. That's ridiculous. <laughs> man, what, what do you think about this tipping thing, man? I mean, um, are, are they entitled? I guess this is DoorDash and and Uber Eats and all the other grub hubs and whatever. But what do you yeah. do? You think that you know you're obligated to give them a tip and a certain tip? No, because I will say this: with the I think the second video with the lady, she says she drove thirty minutes. She decided to pick up that call. Right we don't there. know who's in that That's area. Yes, yes. Yeah. She yes. decided to pick that up. So. Eight dollars? If I don't give you eight dollar tip, oh, you better run on. with it. You decided that you, you better, better run, run with it. it. But then, it to so what does that what does that do? Cancel everything? I don't understand that. Yes. Well, I don't know if it's going to cancel everything, but I'm just surprised with how bold people are. Mm -hmm. With they have the job. Yes. They asking for more, but that's so confrontational. You don't know who you're delivering this food to. Yep. You don't know their mentality. You don't. But you want to sit there and start arguing yep. on their property about this? Those could have went totally different. Of course, of course. And, and would you totally would different. you act that same way in a restaurant? If they were a waiter or a waitress in a restaurant, would they act the same way? I mean, would they no. say, oh, this is not enough? $8? I brought everything on time. I talked to you. I, I was friendly. What? Hey, I'm gonna have to go and get the eight dollars back. Yeah. But see, hello. You, you need to do that job. Um. Yeah. yeah. But can you come and bring it up? No, I can't. Can you come and connect me, please? No, I need you to bring it up, please, because it's cold. COVID guidelines. COVID guide. I can't come. COVID guidelines. Yeah, but I'm cold though. Everyone's been putting it up what? there. I'm cold. Everyone's been putting my food upstairs. I don't care. I'm not everyone. I'm not going downstairs, darling. No, I'm not going downstairs. No. But bring bring my food up. What's wrong with you, man? Come on, collect it. We've got your donut kebab and your 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 nuggets. Please come and collect. Yeah, but I told you that I am hey. cold. You are the delivery driver. Yeah, go on. Eat my food then. Stupid man. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, eat that. Yeah, I'm zooming on your face. See, I don't know about COVID. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he threw it out on everything. Oh yeah. Look at it. Wow. Well, well, with that one, it's a little. Yeah, that's a little different. That's a little different one right there. He's just mad now. One thing I'm gonna say this. Uh huh. And I want to know your answer on this. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. When I go to restaurants that you know you can tip, I like tipping. Yeah. I like tipping, especially when I have somebody that's pleasant. Yes. That's 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 there that's doing a job and it's just like, okay, here, boom. And then they go or and they might not check on you, but they just casual with it. 
Mm-hmm. They having a conversation with you. I agree. And it's, I agree. They're just taking care of you. I they agree. act like they are they're there for you. Yes. Even though they're doing everything else. So I will leave a a nice tip. Yeah. Yeah. A nice tip. I don't even. And, uh, do you think you need to stay by some type of guidelines of percentages of the meal, or is just how your experience? Oh, you're well. I I do like that they have the ten percent, fifteen percent on there. Okay. To say, okay, so you would know you, you just get, you know, a gauge. 15%. you can kind of gauge where a gauge. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cause I like to go over whatever percentage they have on there. Mm-hmm. It's for a specific, just 15%. Mm-hmm. Uh, but some restaurants, you know, they already have, I don't like these too much to have the, the tip already put in the bill. Yeah. Yeah. Because Usually that's bigger parties or bigger um, totals at the end. Yeah. Because like, yes, they don't yes, want to get yes. zero. They want to, because I, I, I understand in, in certain situations, especially with the uh, waiters and waitresses, that they are paid below whatever that minimum is. Right. And they right. they really, you know, uh, bank on those tips. I, I get that. I get that. But, I mean, you still got to earn that, too. Just because... You don't get the full, you know, um, whatever it may be. I don't know. It may be five dollars or ten dollars or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but whatever that may be, if you don't get the full thing, you still got to, you know, you know, you got to be stellar, be consistent, be courteous, yeah. be friendly, be informative. You have to be all these different things. And then, yes, of course, yes, I give you, man, I had a great time. They were informative. They wasn't hounding me. They wasn't, you know, oh, man, here, here you go. Here you go. I'll put it on there. It's not, it's not oh, hard. Yes. It's not hard at all. But, yeah, if it's trash and you don't get anything from it, you get the bare minimum. Right. right. You know what so I mean? You will. Yeah, yeah. So you will tip if the service is not so good, you'll still leave. I, 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 man, it will be bare minimum, maybe two or three dollars or something. It depends on what it is. I, I do know. that also. Yeah, yeah. I do that also. And they are, they it should have... know. They should know. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So, and, and now, I guess we can probably, you know, incorporate a tip is in, you know, helping them out too of their service. Your service was not good. I mean, I've never done that, but that would be a good tip for them to, you know, work on this, work on that. Or whatever. You know what? I'm. I'm. A, the next time I have some service that's questionable, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll let them know. Hey, you, you could have worked on this. Yeah. Here's the tip, but it could have been a whole lot better. Yeah. Now, leading into that, what's the most you done tip and tip the, you know, it, waiter? It ain't been a whole lot, man. Maybe twenty, twenty five dollars or something like that. That was probably the most. And I, you know, my, my bills are not very uh, expensive, but I don't, I don't think I've done anything over that. What about you? <laughs> oh, you and gave well, people fifty, hundred. You and did that? Yeah, a hundred. I've never done that. I've never done that. Never oh, done that. But it was just for, <laughs> uh, for bringing me. I ordered something. I think it was at Benny Hanna's or something. Okay, uh, this when I was in Dubai. Oh. And so uh, they didn't serve French fries. Everybody else was eating something. Man, this waitress. Oh, man. They made it happen. I said, I'll give you a good tip. You make it happen. I just want some French fries. They called hey, somebody. Yeah, uh, for some French fries? Look. They called. And she didn't cook them? Restaurant. No, no. They called another restaurant <laughs> to deliver French fries. And they put it on the plate or whatever. The service was just, you know you know, was impeccable yeah, or whatever. yeah, And then, you know, it was a time where everything was going well. So yes, yes, yes. If the service, if they go above and beyond mm-hmm. and just good, because you're right, the waitresses and uh, waiters, they don't make the same. They, they are fundamental yeah. ways. They rely on those tips. Now, now and, do, you, do you determine your um, tip by the, Maybe actual the actual chef. Maybe the chef cooked something that you didn't like, or they didn't do exactly what they had put into the computer, and then the actual uh, waiter or waitress brought it on. Do you hold them accountable, the waiter or waitress, or do you you know chalk it up like, oh, that wasn't you. That was the the chef that messed that order up, or put onions when I said no onions, or whatever. Right. Right. But a good waitress or waiter, they're gonna rectify that. Before it even comes to you. Immediately. 
They'll look at it and be like, yeah, no, it, it, I told you no yeah. onions on this, and you brought on you put onions on it or whatever. They will be able to do that. You you would think a good waiter or waitress would be able to spot that. Yeah, they they if they're not so busy, they might spot it, but then say they serve it to you mm-hmm. and you say, Hey, this this is wrong. Hey, sorry for that. I'm gonna make sure we get it squared away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you mind waiting just a little bit longer? Yeah. I can give you something complimentary while you wait for your food. Yeah. I've had that happen before. Yeah, of course. Time and course. time again. And, and people in the comments, do you tip? What if the service was bad? Do you still leave something or are you just getting up out of there mad and everything? Yeah. And, and what do you do? And also in the comments, man, I mean, do you, uh, what's your biggest tip? What's your biggest tip? I'm curious. Uh, Mitch said his is a hundred dollars for some French fries. So I mean, okay. I'm, I'm what, what is, <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm, I'm, curious, I'm curious in what y'all did. You know what I'm saying? Like in the, in the comments. But I mean, what's what, what's your biggest tip? And if you did give a big tip, why did you give a big tip? What? Well, how was the service? What did they do that uh, warranted a hundred dollar tip or two hundred or whatever you do? You know what I mean? Whatever you end up doing, that big tip that you thought it was big. What did they do? I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, Put it you, in the comments. Go ahead. Let me ask you this uh, before we close it out. Mm-hmm. Have you and you have uh, you go to a nice restaurant and then you talk to the waiter mm-hmm. uh, and say, hey, what do you suggest? Uh, what's really good on here? Do you do that sometimes yeah, and yeah, I do. just get a feel of it? Yeah, because I, I know we're not just giving shout outs to uh, businesses, but when I was in I think it's is it Maryland at the Walk Hell's Kitchen? Yeah. That waiter, he got a really, really, really good tip from me. Mm-hmm. Cause he could talk about everything. Oh, he could talk about everything. Uh, and he knew the different wines. Hey, this goes good with this. This goes good with this. And he was he was outstanding. So I had to give him a good tip. Yeah. He came enough to where you wasn't waiting and everything was just brought in on time. Yeah. Yeah. So ch- check it. it out. People. I get, you it. There. I, I get it. Definitely, man. Yeah. I, and I guess my final thought is, uh, well, well, before I tell my final thought, um, and we're, we've been talking about restaurants and waiters, waitresses and stuff, but we tip in other areas too. You know, you, you, you tip in maybe going to the barber or something like that. Or you, you know what yeah. I mean? Like you tip yeah, in a lot of different right. areas. You tip on uh, maybe a cab, uh, uh, you know, a taxi or something like that. You do tips in different areas. Um, sometime at the airport. Sometime. Oh, you're talking about for somebody to help me with your luggage or something like that? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, and you tip maybe somebody at the hotel, you know, the uh, concierge or whatever, right? So how do you know and how do you determine what's a good tip um in those type of instances i mean you got a nice little haircut nice shape up a nice you know line up or whatever i mean how do you know what's a good tip on top of what it depends on how much you paid or are you just like hey man i'm gonna double what you just you know how do you do that hey in 2023 mm-hmm. everybody almost use uber lyft yeah do you tip on those and mm-hmm. what makes you give what you give? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I do I tip on those when I'm getting an Uber ride to the airport. Yeah, yeah. And that's like you just know? like I said, taxis, Ubers, stuff like that. Yeah. So how how do you know how much to tip? It depends on how much the how 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 much you pay, or it depends on how well the person interact with you or didn't interact with you, or how well the driving was, or how well the lineup shape up is on the you know like how do you know how to tip? and when to tip and how much to tip. And uh, uh, congregation family, you know, I don't want to have to admit this, but, you know, I remember when uh, Cain tipped the lady to go on a, out to dinner with him, you know, I mean. What are you talking about? Did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? what is this dude talking about? Oh, hey! my God. <laughs> <laughs> Negative.
negative. I know, brother. <laughs> hey. hey, man. Hey, look. Hey, congregation, man. Join us. Join this conversation out there. If you made it this far, if you made it this far in the in the uh, video in the podcast, just uh, you know, add your little comments. I we, we will we will we will definitely yes. respond back. And uh, maybe you can get some other people to join in the conversation. Keep this conversation going after the uh, video. We love that. And shout out to all the waiters and waitresses that's out there grinding. Yes. Shout out to all of them. Making it happen. Guaranteed. Making your experience at those particular restaurants and and barbershops and taxis, Ubers. They, they, They are helping that experience. And you're paying for that experience. So go ahead and tip them. That's the uncomfortable truth. Hey! How you doing? Let's go. Outtakes with Kane and Mitch. How you believe it, thank you. How you believe it? Um, no, I can speak to you, actually. I'm sorry? I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from. I don't think you realize the distance that it comes from because then you would never actually have given what you gave. So I think you can come and speak. I'm about to owe you nine. What do we owe you? 40 minutes. What do you owe? 40 minutes and it was extremely far and I got it to you early. So I don't think you realize where you work from. I don't owe you nothing. It's not. You need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's, it's Get off my porch. Half miles. So I don't think you realize how far it is. So but I think you have to pick up how dangerous could that be? I, they don't let us know how far. So I think going back and forth through a ring head. camera. Get off my... Right. Man, ain't no how way. You gave an $8 tip. What the hell are you looking for? Okay, I'm gonna bring the food back. I'm gonna bring the food back. Okay. What? Okay. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 